20 years ago, I was selling cars at Porsche South Bay. It was my first real job after graduating from the University of Southern California. I was real wet behind the ears, uh, way out of my league, but when I saw the 1979 SE pull up and uh, the light caught it, and I instantly fell in love. I remember the first time I saw it, everyone around the dealership wanted it. People were drooling over this thing, and I thought, well, I think I might be able to do this. The manager that really pushed me on it at the time was Carl Toffelmeyer, the general sales manager here at Porsche South Bay. The feeling that you get when you get into particularly a vintage 911, these cars are extraordinarily rewarding. They exude passion. When I bought the car, Carl had said, okay, James, we're gonna do this, we're gonna lower it a little bit, we're gonna change the engine, we're gonna make this a race car. I, whoa, 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 Carl, I just bought this. Ready to go. He's been asking me for 20 years to restore this car. It's finally happening. It's just a great story, and it's kind of who the brand is, too. So by doing these restorations and taking these 30, 40 year old cars and bringing them back to pristine condition, it just furthers the heritage and I think it supports who we are. So we're here with our 79 SC and we're gonna kinda go through some of the unique areas on the car. So we have a, a, a pretty good idea in terms of the interior that we're looking at right now that we don't have any real rust issues. What you're seeing is breaking cover for the first time since the car was assembled in Stuttgart back in 79. But one of the areas that we're gonna be investigating is here underneath the rear seats. Problem is that you will get, and we have had some leakage of the rear window. It'll then trickle down underneath this sound deadening and pool here. So there's a possibility that underneath this material here, we may find some rust. These window frame areas need to be addressed and rust proofed. This is essentially supposed to be a vertical plane and it's currently running at about a 45. Uh, we have a little bit of bodywork that we have to address, but nothing that we're particularly scared of. One of the reasons why we chose this car is that it has compromised paint. It was just laid over the existing paint job. So in that light, we're gonna have to strip both the existing layer off and the original finish and get down to bare metal to get the result that we're looking for in this classic restoration challenge. I laid eyes on this car was in approximately 2002. The color combination was right. It had these really unique sports seats. It was just something that was really, really cool and instantly fell in love with. These stories go on and on. It's such a, an aspirational brand. It's hard to imagine how people feel about these cars. The car is something you dream to own. This isn't a car you just drive and it makes it awfully unique. And to be able, again, to be able to share this with the guys here at Porsche South Bay, Carl Toffelmeyer, Mike Sullivan, it'll be a museum piece that I'm going to be able to use. So really, really excited.